Hey again you, welcome back to another AI test. So, we have the winner of the last bout between Yadrobi AI and Freeze AI. So, Freeza 1, so we have Key plus 2, Super minus 1, Power Body, Sirius, and Active Heart on Freeza, Freeza AI versus Raccoon with Power Body, Dende Sile, and Master Throw with uh, Ginyu AI. Oh my god. So, Power Body plus throw master like, all right all right that that seems fair so he's pretty much unfazed by punches and then gets to just slam you down or at least you can't select an ai that promotes a whole bunch at least you can't put raccoon on raccoon ai but right. i want to see how how two power power bodies are gonna fight it out they pretty much just not face each other So the key plus two on Ginyu. He already seemed like he had a good charge rate. Uh, if I were, if, you know, if I self harm, Frieza, man, yeah. If I were you, I would put him on the classic power body uh, melee build because he seems like he'd be the good one to use it. Can power bomber for uh, 12 hits for 6.3k, just straight up, just you know. Power body, attack plus one, quick fast attack, and serious. You really don't need false courage, or... <laughs> no, he really doesn't need it. Coom, bomber again, in Ginyu's face. He's gonna show him who's the leader, and then freeze it, that's more self-harm. You're already losing in the HD department, allow me to do more self-harm to myself. If God gets off the fighting pose one. And Akum has trounced Ginyu. Trounce. Akum Eraser Gun. He dodged it. Impossible. Then he went right back into it. Huh. Also, those are uh, passive effects that carry over despite uh, him doing his ultimate. So if he does his ultimate, then the character that he, you know, he turns into, the max HP, will also have the power body and the quick fast attack and the serious and the attack, you know? So, uh, this seems like more melee damage, you know? I just don't really see why you really give him key plus one, but whatever. So more slamming from Raccoon. More slamming from Raccoon. It's like, hold on, I'm unfazed. Actually, I kind of feel like maybe Raccoon should be another one of those characters that shouldn't be allowed to use power body. Oh no. Seems kind of OP since, you know, he likes to do his throws and... I don't know. I don't know. You know, because you know the list of characters that can't use power body. Some of them are just blatantly because of you know the throws, because they're unfazed. But you can clearly see that he's unfazed. But I guess, I guess they like yeah, you because know, it just does a lot of damage. But it's not like you know it steals HP or energy like anything like 1920 cell or Bobbity. So I guess it's fine. And you get off his pose five. Uh, Raccoon does not get off his his false courage. But the dynamite connects for 5.5k points of damage, and now he has a charge penalty. This time he does get off the false courage, gets off his charge. Uh, Frieza gets out of the charge penalty, but then self harms. All right, whole energy wave to the wall. Kuhn gets out of the way. Kuhn, my max power. Renegade bomber connects. 7.8k points of damage. Bomber again, and Raccoon wins. And Tuo's the Frieza. <laughs> Alright, so I hope this was helpful. Power body's really strong, and he planted Frieza how many times? <laughs> Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you found this useful. And looking forward to doing the next text, text, test video for you guys. Thanks for watching.